look at liquid measurement. First, let's look at the variations here. It's kind of cool because then we can get into the, the liquid part of it. So these are what? Teaspoons. Teaspoons. <laughs> There's two numbers that I want you to know. This number and the rest of these. So this number is going to be number three. Okay, we're calling this number three. What number is this? Three. What is it? Three. Teaspoon. Teaspoon is? Three. Okay, everything else is a four. This is a? Three. And this would be a? Four. Okay. So now listen. There's how many? You just say the numbers. How many of these? There's three teaspoons in one. Two. Very good. Remember, this is the only one that I wanted you to memorize the three of. A teaspoon is a three. It's a three, it's a three, it's a three, it's a three. All of these others are fours. So for every question I ask you now, you answer four. four. Okay. And then we'll look really smart. Got it? So, how many tablespoons in a quarter cup? Four. Yes. How many quarter cups in a cup? Four. Yes. How many cups in a quart? Four. How many quarts in a gallon? Four. There you go. My work here is done. <laughs> oh, but what about that pint? It's it's a different one, isn't it? We gotta learn another number. Two. <laughs> See, I like if we can keep the numbers down. So if this is known as a whatever, Three. Three. these are known as a four. Let's know this one is a two. Okay, so how many cups are in a pint? Two. There you go. So all of this culinary math, all you have to remember is three, two, four. And just remember which one it is. Right? Because really, you start asking these questions. It's like, how many of these? What is this? Four. It's a cup. How many cups in this? Four. Two. Remember, if I say this one, these are... Four. Four. Okay. So let's put some numbers to it. Three teaspoons to a tablespoon. One tablespoon. One tablespoon is equal to one or I'm on team start. Right? One half ounce. And you put in FL, so fluid ounce. One tablespoon is equal to one half fluid ounce times four is right there's four tablespoons to a quarter cup so for recipe if I doubled it and it calls for four tablespoons I don't have to stand there like this one two three four no I just grab a quarter cup because a quarter cup is four tablespoons so times four So I have one half of an ounce, and I times it by four. What do I get? Two. Got a little quiet in here all of a sudden. One half of an ounce times four equals what? Two. 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 You sure? Yes. Okay. If we actually had to, I mean, we could go. Half ounce, half ounce, half ounce, that was over full, half ounce. So four of those just equaled two ounces. I'm moving that no more. That's going to spill. One quarter cup is equal to two. Ounces. So, how many quarter cups in a cup? Four. How many? Four. four. Thank you. So, times four equals what? Eight. So, how many ounces in one cup? Eight. Now, remember, here's where we get a little tricky because there's how many cups in a pint? Two. two. Remember it said odd number. Two, the three, and the four. You remember. So one cup times two equals how many ounces? 
2 times 8 is 16. Now, here's the other thing significant about a pint that's kind of cool. A pint is equal to 16 ounces, that is correct. 16 ounces is also one pound. And so when we look at this, this is also one pound. And here's a little thing that you can write down to help you remember that. A pint is a pound the world around in liquid eggs and oil. A pint's a pound the world around in liquid eggs and oil. A pint's a pound the world around in liquid eggs and oil. So in the front of the house, we have those glasses that we call pounders. Is everyone familiar with what I'm talking about? The pounders? Why do we call them pounders? Because they're one pound. They're a pint. They hold 16 ounces. And so when you take one of those, that's 16 ounces. This full throttle right here, I have it out here, 16 ounces. How much does this weigh? I pop the top, I drink it down, how much did I just gain? One pound. Unless I eat the can too. <laughs> but just the liquid content is 16 ounces. And so if I drink that down, that's what you'd have. Now, we go back because we're not, we're right in the middle here. So if we took four cups, equal what? One quart. So four times eight is what? 32. Thirty-two fluid ounces. This one's kind of neat because you look at this. That's pretty good size measurement, yeah. Right? Uh, that's pretty good. I mean, to drink that, that's a lot. So check this out. Ampia Mini Mart, the thirsty two ouncer. Ever heard of that? The yeah, thirsty two ouncer, the big gulp, right? That's what it is. Thirsty two ouncer, thirty-two ounces, thirty-two ounces. That's what it is minus the ice cubes. There's a lot of pop. This is a quart, 32 ounces. So how many of those are in a gallon? Four. What's that? Four. So 32 times four equals? 128. 128 fluid ounces. So here's a question. No second year students. First year students only can respond. No second year students coaching them or telling them or sliding them notes under to make them. I want you to figure it out. How much does one gallon of milk weigh? What? Eight pounds. Are you sure? Yeah. Seems like a lot. Oh, the cow. I think if the gallon is still in the cow, it still weighs the same. So eight pounds. So a gallon of milk weighs eight pounds. Is that correct? How did you figure that out? Yesterday. Huh? Learned yesterday. Learned yesterday. How else would you figure that out, though? Well, you do the. Okay. 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 You know, sixteen. You know, sixteen ounces is one pound. So right. How many sixteen ounces can you get out of one? There you go. That's a great. That would be a great way to do it. So if we know that sixteen ounces is a pound, and the question is, how many pounds are in a gallon of milk? We look at 16 divided out comes up with eight. So eight pounds. Whenever I do these um, math assignments, the one thing that I always ask, because I, I just try to do it in my head as much as I can, just from doing it over and over and over repetition. I always ask myself the smallest question. So in other words, if there's a question on the assignment that said, how many pounds are in 50 gallons. That could seem kind of, that could seem kind of like arduous to figure out. So what I do in my head is I go, well, how many, how many pounds are in one gallon? Eight times 50 would give you 400. So right there, we just know that a, a 50 gallon barrel weighs 400 pounds, or a, a 50 gallon fish aquarium is gonna weigh about 400 pounds of liquid weight. Okay. You got that? So real quick review. Teaspoon. There's three of these little guys to one tablespoon. One tablespoon is also equal to one half fluid ounce. 
take four of those tablespoons, and it makes one quarter cup, which is equal to two fluid ounces. Take four of those quarter cups, it's equal to one cup, which is equal to eight ounces. Times only two of those to get a pint, and a pint's a pound the world around, which is 16 ounces. We take two of those pints, it makes a quart, or four cups, which is 32 ounces. We times that by four, we come up with 128 fluid ounces, or eight pounds per gallon. So when you're toting in the gallon of milk, you go, this weighs eight pounds. So when you thought you were cool sitting there curling them, that's eight pounds. Come on, do more than that. Okay, questions? Okay, time for the assignment. We're gonna do this in two parts. The first part we're gonna do today and the second part we're gonna do later. I'm gonna hand you out an actual sheet of questions, one through 25. I'm gonna hand you out a score sheet that has one through 50 on it. Uh, please put your answers on here, okay? You're only gonna do the first 25 today. If you struggle, struggle. Come see me, whatever. Here's the thing on this assignment. You're getting scored that you do the work, not scored on whether the answers are correct. This is not a test. I will score them for my own personal knowledge of where you're at, so that way we can adapt the teaching to get to you where you guys are at. If everyone struggles on one through 25, we'll reteach it and redo it. If everyone like cruises right through one through 25, great, we'll move on. But what I wanna make sure is we don't miss because these basic things are things that we're gonna need for the full entire project, which is costing out your whole entire menu to know exactly how much to charge the customer to give them fair market value and you a profit. So you can buy more toys, exactly. Okay, so please don't write on the, on the question sheet just write on the score sheet. Put your name on it. There you go. 